everyone, Mike Money Game here, and welcome back to Let's Play Onomashu Warlords. Um, <clears throat> so I'm a little scatterbrained right now, so don't worry about that. That's why I'm also just kind of sitting here for a second. Um, so last time we were in this game, if you remember right, we were playing as Kaede, and um, the um woman that we thought was needing help was actually a traitor it seems and was actually working for the other guys because she distracted us long enough that a <coughs> second Onomashu came in and like or Samanusuke came in and punched her and so now we're trying to find out where the little kid went and also trying to find Samanusuke to see if we can't reunite with him, you know, to help him out as well. But as you can see, we're not doing that well, and it's not a good idea to waste a whole bunch of uh, herbs during this point. So I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and just load the game. I'm once again going to get used to the game again, because, you know, that's always a good idea. So that's blocking, that's readying... Alright, so, I think I got the gist of it. Um, yes, I remember the map button. Okay, so yeah, we can't go that red path anyway, but that is another room. It looks like we've gone all we can that way, except for the bottom path? Which I think it was locked, wasn't it? Let's see, where else could we possibly go? If we go back... What's a yellow door? <clears throat> I think a yellow door means one that was locked at one point. But we just unlocked it. And of course there's going to be monsters all over this place, so that's going to be a big problem. Um, I wish I could, like, kind of, you know, move a cursor on the map so I can show you where we're going. <laughs> If it was possible, I'd have pa uh, future Mike put something to show where we, where I think we need to go. But there's, I don't know of any way I could do that. <coughs> Not with the editing program I have, I use for this. <laughs> Let's see, though. It looks like, um, it looks like if we go this way, we need to go down that one path if we can. I guess we can always give it a try. Worst case scenario, we die right away. Is that the door? Yes, it is. Ah, yes, and I died in this room, that's right. Because I thought you could do something with that thing, but you can't. So have to find a way to unlock it. So is it after you check that door that you realize that you have to pull that handle? Good god, it stays on fire forever. And then I think this one's timed as well. Ah, damn it. Yeah, it is.
checkpoint. Oh. Okay. Let's go play it. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And why the hell not? Oh, the magic jewel. I forgot I had one of those. Now I think once you pull that chain, uh, that thing out, if you try pulling this again to get out of here... Oh no, it actually works. I don't think we actually need to do that. I think we can just go this back way. Can't we? No. Hmm. Looks like the fire's not running anymore. That's good. Hold on. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Look at the map again. Alright, where do we need that piece at? I don't remember there being anything in that far room, was there? Shit, I'm gonna have to look and find out just to make absolutely sure. Whoa! Bastard! <laughs> Yeah, it looks like we found everything we possibly could here. <clears throat> Did that guy respawn? Apparently not. I guess in some cases, if you round a corner, it might be a good idea to hit the block button just in case, because like if there is an enemy around the corner and it's in the middle of swinging, you at least, wrong one, you at least have a chance of, um, you know, deflecting the attack a little bit. You know, that knife, look at it, it's actually kind of long. Huh. Never noticed that before. There's a ladder, yeah, let's go up. I'm glad they keep the loading for that kind of short, because they know that you are um, only going up a ladder. Hold on. Whew, I actually caught it. Whew, thank God. Alright, what's down here? One of these bastards. Two of these bastards. Yeah, there's a gate over that door, so we can't get through that. You don't want to mess with these guys if you can help it. God damn it. I hit the X button, and I think I was in front of the door, but I apparently wasn't. Hold on, this just leads back to there, right? Alright, well, it may not be a bad idea. There, we knocked him down, so let's get out of here. He can actually outrun us, but... You know, what the hell. You really something? Oh, so I have them both. Cool. I would have been running around like a dumbass thinking I didn't have them both and I would have been in trouble. 
power, there must be a way to open it. That's why I always hit X, because I forget. You have to make sure you're right in front of it. No! <laughs> we don't need no medicine. Well, we probably could actually use some, but no. Um, was there a safe one in there? It was, right? If I remember right, this is important. I don't want to have the um, stress on me about missing the save point and realizing that I'm about to get killed. Because I can't remember if there's a boss fight through that door or something. Because I know that you have to fight a pretty difficult enemy with her, and it's horrible. But I can't remember where in the game it actually is. Um, what's in here? It's like the way forward. This looks like there's a ladder over here. In a staircase. Or is this one I'm thinking of? Uh Looks like her knife is not strong enough to get through that. Yet. <laughs> I believe we can get through that later, but apparently not right now. Let's see what's in this pack. God, I've never tried that before. Phew, there we go. Oh, that's the Kanai. If you are wanting to see the Kanai in action, I'm sorry, but I don't really use it. So, um, I'll probably... a demon soul. So I might try on an, uh, an enemy at some point if I absolutely feel necessary, but there's only one time where I think that it's actually very useful, and it's definitely not during this point, so... So... So this is the path I think I need to take now, after I got that. Um, oh, it's a trick treasure chest. Okay, once again, we need to get the wand to the upper left. Um, we got three options. Sorry, I just bumped the mic. Okay, if I hit this twice... No, that won't work. If I hit it once, it would go here. Then I could hit that twice, and one and two will be in the right place. But six and eight won't. Okay. Um, actually, here. Let's do that. Then... This... That... Hell yeah! <laughs> First try. Oh, okay, this is the weapon I was looking for, the Sacred Knife. Now, it's not much more powerful... I'm sorry, I know that's a really sad, sad, sad grammatical killing, but no, it's not as, like, damaging as a knife. Like, it's a... it is stronger, but it's nothing compared to, like, you know, Samanusuke's swords. But you definitely want to equip it. This knife has the power to dispel demons. Now, it doesn't mean it kills them instantly. You still will take a few hits with it before you kill them. But it's definitely a lot less than the other knife. But here's something that I don't like about it. Um, <laughs> it really has no other special powers except for the fact that you can, you know, fight with it. That's it. 
But I do like how it glows like that. It does look like it's like glowing with fire. So, I mean, you gotta give it that. But again, like I said, don't think that it's like boss-like or anything like that. It's your simple run-in-the-mill knife with just a uh, slight enchantment on it. <laughs> I used to think it glowed whenever there was demons nearby. No, sadly it doesn't do that. I don't like going into this with this low of health, but whatever. Um, let's see, how much damage does this bastard take against us, if I remember right? I think one good hit from him can kill us right now in our current health. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh well, I like living in insane mode. You. Wait a moment. I will help you out. You are Kaede. I love that line. Samosuke once wrote to me that he journeys with a female ninja, Kaede. So, you are... If only I could leave the castle and see the world with Samosuke. Princess Yuki! I envy you. <laughs> you can go. <gasps> Forget about me. Escape from this castle with Semenosuke. Do not give up, Your Highness. I will save you. No, you won't. <gasps> what? You can die uh, here in love. Uh, Princess Yuki! Princess Yuki! This thing is a huge bastard. But before I get into that, I want to go over that line of dialogue. Since I don't like talking over it. So you notice the way she said Kaede's name, right? You are, and then kind of pauses for a second and says, Kaede? Like, you know, kind of like it's like a question. Like, I mean, it was a question, but you know, it's like more so. Like, it was as if the voice actor for Princess Yuki, uh, you know, wasn't given a whole lot of time to practice these names. Or they may have been a procrastinator like me and put it off to the last minute. I don't know. But, um, when they're, when she's saying that line, I just always laughed at it. Because I had to hear it, like, at least six times. <clears throat> so you can tell how hard this fight is going to be. But, of course, imagine the fact that I wasn't as good at this game as I kind of am now, since I know the way that the controls work a little bit better than I did when I was a kid when I played it. Yes, I played a really violent game when I was a kid. <laughs> Judge me all you like. Anyway, but, um... This fight... Um... You are fighting an enemy that's able to use active camouflage, more or less, from, you know, Halo. <laughs> um, which is funny, I'm trying to remember. When was Halo released? Uh, I'd have to look it up, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, like, you know, whatever, whichever came first, it's kind of funny to think that they used the same idea. But this enemy, Instead of like, it's mainly when he's moving that the active camouflage is in effect. It's not whenever, it's not like when he's standing still like you would think. 
He's noticed that he stood still and you saw him for a second. Well, you can still see him with his camouflage, but I don't think you can lock on. And so you have to be very careful about where Kayade is standing whenever you try to lock on, because if he's invisible, I don't think you can. Um, now, I don't, I'm not sure if he really does take a huge chunk of your life, because I don't remember what kind of weapon he uses. But sadly, we've actually reached our time limit. I'm going to have to make this into its own video, which is going to throw me off of my, um, you know, groove here a little bit. But I will use the kunai during this part, because this is like the only, like, only time where I think that you can really put the kunai to good use. And, um... Remember, all it really does is, like, good weapon for Kaida to throw at a target. So, yeah, when you're locked on, you can use that to throw it at him to do a good amount of damage. And I actually do recommend that you chunk a few of those at him because minding your distance from this enemy is actually a good idea. I didn't use the Kunai the first time I fought it, but, um, you see, the thing that I hated about that is I got too close many of the times. And so I'd use up all my medicine and herbs like immediately, because if you rush in, uh, you can block some of his attacks, yes, but the majority of them you want to try to dodge out of the way of, and since I didn't know the dodges that well, I kind of put myself in danger a lot of times, like unnecessary amount of danger, by a constantly rushing in. So, yeah, and don't depend, like, don't think that the Sacred Knife is going to get you out of this fight real easy, it's not. But yeah, this is a two-stage fight, so I'll tell you more about that in the next episode. But I wanted to at least get that out of the way first. So that this is hard. Just remember, it's hard. So yeah, till then, everyone. Bye.